everybody. Welcome into my Watch Me Wednesday, episode number 117. So it's been a, a strange week and a half for me. As many of you know, I um, broke my ankle. So I really haven't spent a whole lot of time in my studio only because I can't get around real well. So I managed to make it into the studio today so that I can get my Watch Me Wednesday in for all of you. And I'm glad you're here with me because the only place that I seem to be seeing lately is my living room. <laughs> so uh, I, I'm kind of glad to be in here even though I can't do a whole lot of anything because I can't man maneuver around. But I wanted to show you, um, because I couldn't get a tutorial together, I wanted to show you one of the most common questions that is asked of me, especially when I'm traveling and teaching, is what do I carry in my toolbox? And this is actually the little bag that I bring with me on the airplane when I go to teach somewhere or if I'm in a car and I go to teach. This is all that I pack in my bag. Of course, my quilts and um, any anything that needs to be packed for the actual class as well. So I thought you might like to see what's in here. I can actually put a whole lot of stuff in here. It's amazing. So let's get to it. And I would love to, to know too what you have in your tool bag after. So Tempo Plastic for paper piecing. Uh, that is always in there, whether I'm teaching a paper piecing class or not. Of course, the almighty rotary cutter has to be in there too. I keep my, my most favorite tea, no, not really, <laughs> my most favorite pins in my little um, tea tin. So I, I, that's where I keep them because my cats actually like, I can't keep pin cushions around. So um, I have to put them in a tin. Scotch tape for repairing those paper piecing boo-boos. <clears throat> of course, my favorite thread of all time, 50 weight Aurifil thread. This one is Dove Gray, it's number 2600. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's what I use to piece most of the time. I keep a little stapler for stacking up the papers when we're cutting them. Of course, with the Tempo Plastic, I have to have to have my add a quarter ruler, which has the little lip, which is that quarter inch. So for the paper pieces out there, if you don't have an add a quarter ruler, you've got to get one, okay? Then, oh boy, this is fun. So I usually, like I showed you, I have a rotary cutter and I use a 60 millimeter blade. So I keep, this one is marked old. So that's my old blade box, and this one is my new blade. I don't mark it, it's just my new blades. And then I have 45 degree, or 40, yeah, 45 degree um, rotary cutter blades, but I don't really carry a, a 45 millimeter um, blade in my bag. I just carry this guy. Paper clips, I'm pulling this, it's like pulling a rabbit out of a magic cat. Paper clips for um, clipping fabric stacks and um, paper together is in there. Of course, my little um, sunflower quilts um, chain piece ripper. So there's a little blade in there and you just chain piece and rip. Oh boy, I still have, wow, I have lots of thread in here. So I have two more spools. See, I told you it's my favorite thread. I have three spools of that in there. Um, oh, and I have, wow, I have a lot in here. Another, I have two, two things of tape. Amazing. Oh, and I got another. These are the new 45 millimeters. So I have two. So that might the other one's the old. Two and two. I have in there, oh, this, this I use all the time. The Deluxe Marty um, Michelle's Deluxe Corner Trimmer. Uh, and hand piece or eight. It ha I like it because it has all the angles on here. So if you need to mark an angle for, say, um, a um, Y seam or if you're trimming off um, corners for a 60 degree triangle, I always carry that in there as well. I have a Yoohoo stick for sticking that 
first piece of fabric down on paper piecing, I have my little starch pen. So this little starch pen here, um, it's got like a like a um, spongy kind of top and you can put it right on your seam and then hit it with the iron and it makes that seam nice and flat. So I love that. Um, and then I've also gotten, I got several of these in here. I've also gotten into using the repositionable glue sticks, which actually I'm, I'm a huge fan of. Instead of, instead of the Yoohoo um, stick. So I use these to put the first piece of fabric down on um, paper piecing. Of course, I have glue pen refills. So there's two refills in there. I think I have a lot more. And there's the glue pen. And I actually have a, several glue pens in here. I have one, two. Mm, oh, and I got another repositionable. I got glue pens. Um, okay, then I have a chalk liner uh, to mark anything with, that I need to mark with chalk. I love this thing, and it's refillable. Um, oh, and I got all kinds of writing implements in here. Oh, my goodness. So, Oh, and, of course, the seam rippers. So I've got my Sharpie markers, which we I use a lot. So I got three of those in there. I got a couple of pens. I've got... I've got a seam ripper and I've got this fabulous seam ripper my son gave to me. It's actually a snap on tool. So for you, those of you who have mechanics in your family, you know what snap on tools are. Well, this is in their catalog as a wire, um, you know, cutting, cutting the sheathing off a wire. But my son, because he is a quilter's son, he said, well, that's a seam ripper too. So he got me this, and that's always in my bag. Then I have another chalk marker, and I have a tweezers, tweezer, uh, tweezers, and a um, seam ripper. Then I have marking tape, so you can see it's a uh, different color. And this is like a removable marking tape. I've got binder clips. I got a lot of stuff in here. I got binder clips. I've got. Okay, so, oh, my purple fang. Can't go anywhere without my purple fang. Love my purple fang. And then I have in here, I have two, oh, this one's broken. But I'm going to throw this one out. But I've got my eyebrow trimmer shaper, which I use and I teach in my classes how you take out stitches with this. I have a couple YouTube videos out there. If you haven't been on my YouTube channel, you're wanna, gonna want to subscribe to that because I do put a lot of videos up there. Then I have, of course, oh, there's another glue pen. So I have quite a few. I also have a couple scissors, because you need scissors, right? I have my business cards, because, oops, there they are, my business cards, because you need those. Teacher needs those. And I got another uh, seam ripper. I have another marking pen. Another, uh, this is a water erase marker. Uh, this one is a marking pen, and this one's a marking pencil. And I have another glue pen refill. Um, and, oh, and a little, just a little tiny ruler just to measure things with. And I think I have just more business cards in the outside pocket. But that is what I have in my toolbox. Crazy, right? So I have so much stuff in there. But um, I fit it all in here. And a lot of people I know are going to ask, did you make that? No, I didn't. But it is a quilt... See, I knew it. Brenda was going to ask, right? So um, I didn't make the bag, but um, a place that I teach at here in Phoenix, um, uh, Bernina Connection, uh, the owner, she made this for me because she teaches, um, teaches this at her class. But the pattern is from Quilts Illustrated. My friend Penny Sturgis is her pattern. And yeah, where's the kitchen sink, right? It probably could fit in there. Um, you would think that there was no bottom on this, but it's a Quilts Illustrated pattern from Penny Sturgis, and it comes in different sizes, um, this one being the smallest size. So um, 
anyway, so this, hi, uh, Brenda, I was in Lake Havasu. Were you in my class in Lake Havasu? Um, when I was up there, I was up there twice. I spoke to the guild and then I also taught class there too. So, what do you think? There's a lot of stuff that goes in there, but all that stuff is pretty necessary um, for me when I go on a, a trip to teach uh, via plane or via car because I never know what a student might need. So I always have everything I could possibly need available in my tool kit. So what do you have in your toolkit when you go to like a retreat? I've gotten it down to just a little bag and I bet you can too. Of course, you know, I don't bring a sewing machine with me, but um, it would be really, really cool to see what you guys carry with you when you go somewhere to take a class or uh, for a retreat of sorts. Anyway, um, I will be back in the studio actually on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I am teaching Retreat from Home. So if you're not familiar with that, we are doing, myself and four other designers, are doing a retreat from home and we have over 200 participants. If you are interested, you can still register. Just go to retreatfromhome.com. It is going to be live and interactive for all of us. I'm teaching a mini project as are the other designers. So it's gonna be a little challenging for me with a big boot on my foot and um, I'm gonna to have to sit the entire time, but it should work out for me. I hope crossing my fingers. So I hope to see you there. If I don't see you there, I will be back here next Wednesday at 1.30 Mountain Time, 4.30 Eastern Daylight Time. So I hope to see you all then. Thanks for joining me today. If you liked my Facebook Live, hit that share button and share it with some of your friends. I hope you are all staying safe and happy and healthy and get some quilting done. Happy, happy quilting. Bye-bye.